I grew up buying all the Puma gear, keeping, batting, all of it, and then uh, trying to just be like Adam Gilchrist. I think I just love, love winning, I love um, competing, I love competition. I guess I've always had it. Uh, brother out the backyard, mates, just growing up playing and, and loving the sport. And um, I guess you always have that desire to win and um, it's a lot better than losing. I was going to move great clubs, Peter Sleep said, um, give up keeping and, I'll, and you'll play A-grade cricket and um, in a couple of years' time, if you're good enough, you'll play state cricket. And that's that's where he thought I was heading. I was 16 at the time, so it was a pretty bold um, comment to make. But, um, yeah, literally two, day, two years down the track, I was lucky enough to debut for Australia, uh, South Australia. So, um, yeah, sleepy. I've got the, the world to thank for him. He was amazing um, to grow up and um, have someone of his calibre. Um, amazing record for South Australia and, and, and a test cricketer, so uh, a nice man to have in your corner. I went from someone in the ch in the dressing room who was the young guy who tried to, I guess on bad days, try to keep the energy up and, and just trying to be the character in, in, within the group to then a week later having to try to think about what I was going to say in the morning and, and lead the team and what change I was going to make. And um, it was difficult to start with, but um, had an extremely good group and they've made me mature very, very quickly. Um, and um, no, it, yeah, I think it's developed me into a, a better person. Yeah, I got told in India during the A tour um, at lunch break. So halfway, well, I was in at the time. Um, my mind was sort of making sure I finished that task. You know, I guess that competitive side come out of me and making sure that I wanted to do it really well. But inside, I was buzzing. Dad was pretty stoked. Uh, Mum the same. Yeah, just everyone was so excited. It's been a lot of hard work that's gone into it uh, from my side and from the family side. The sacrifices that they made for me um, made it all so special um, to have them there um, on the day and um, the lead up. They were just, yeah, so excited. I guess when I walked into the South Australian dressing room as an 18 year old, I had Husey, uh, Coops, Nathan Lyon, Richo, um, Maxi Klinger. Johan Bota got in the dressing room and was just in awe of these blokes. And they looked after me and Gaz was one of them. Um, got along with him really, really well. We'd always spoken about making sure that I was able to play a test match with him. If I, anyways, he always drives me extremely hard and wants me to always get better. So when I got the chance in the morning, Jail asked me who I'd like to present it. There was no other person that I would want to when we were there. And um, yeah, it was an amazing morning. Beautifully bowled. The first ball in Test match cricket for Trevor's head gets beaten. I didn't face too many after the first ball, so um, it was nice to get the first one out of the way. I was disappointed not to get a run, but um, yeah, I was just, I guess you're in the moment that stage, you're nervous, but um, I was just really determined to try and um, do what was needed for the team and just try and focus on that as much as possible. It didn't work. As Gaz said to me when I bowled my first ball in Test cricket, he goes, you know, and one chance to get a wicket with your first ball. And I think you only get one chance. You only get one chance to get a Test hundred on debut. So um, I was a bit um, disappointed. I wasn't able to go on. Fifty for Trevor said on debut. That's wonderful innings under pressure on a turning pitch. He's played a lovely innings there. I'm still young and I'm still learning my craft, but I understand what's expected to play for Australia. There's no doubt. I'm going out to. I'm there to win a game cricket for Australia. That's my first. That's my only priority, really.